Ethereum Classic ETC is the leading smart contracts proof of work blockchain in the world. One, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic were originally one proof of work blockchain. When Bitcoin BTC was created, it was meant to have smart contracts inside its proof of work POW environment. In 2013, Vitalik Buterin came up with the idea of how to integrate smart contracts to a proof of work blockchain, but it was not possible in Bitcoin because of its technical design. This is how Ethereum ETH was originated. Mr. Buterin put together a team, they did a crowd sale to finance the development, and they built a blockchain from scratch that was launched in 2015. At this time, there was no Ethereum and Ethereum Classic ETC, as the whole community was united in one project and there was only one smart contracts blockchain. Two, then Ethereum separated from Ethereum Classic. In 2016, there was a controversy in the ETH community due to a hack to a DAP called the DAO. At that moment, ETH decided to reverse the hack while a small group of, of the community decided to continue the original untampered chain, which was subsequently called Ethereum Classic with the ticker symbol ETC. There is a common misconception in the market that ETC is a fork of ETH, but the truth is the opposite. ETH is a fork of ETC as they, as they changed the rules of the network and reversed the funds of the hack breaking immutability, but ETC did no changes, thus remaining as the original untampered chain. 3. Code is law versus social consensus. Ever since the separation between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, a wide gap between them has emerged. ETC adopted a code is law philosophy and ETH a social consensus one. Social consensus means exactly what they did in 2016 that whenever there is a controversy or problem in the chain, then the community, which is supposed to be all-knowing, ethical, and good, will correct such problems. But this is exactly the opposite of what blockchains are supposed to be. This is why ETC adopted a philosophy that it will be as objective as possible and that anything inside the blockchain will be immutable. Any problems between humans must be solved in the legal system not by tampering with the chain. 4. Proof of stake and saving the trees. Later, in 2016, Vitalik Buterin wrote an essay where he explained that he liked proof of stake, P-O-S, rather than proof of work because proof of work killed trees, proof of work had a symmetrical one-to-one -one attacker to defender ratio. Well, the truth is that proof of work is very difficult to attack and the only possible attack is double spending, which is increasingly difficult as users can protect themselves by waiting more confirmations and the transparency of blockchains deters attackers from doing so as they may get caught very easily. This leaves proof of stake with no advantages other than saving trees, which is a fallacy in itself because by not being proof of work, Proof-of-stake networks actually stop contributing to the migration of electricity production to renewable energy as proof-of-work does. 5. Proof-of-stake is not even scalable. Another great advantage that the Ethereum Foundation promoted about proof-of-stake was that it would provide much more scalability because its design supposedly enabled the fragmentation of the database, therefore processing in parallel uh, therefore, the processing in parallel of a much greater number of transactions. Ethereum could process between 10 and 20 transactions per second at the time, but the Ethereum Foundation talked about processing thousands of transactions per second if they use proof of stake. The truth is that now Ethereum is a proof of stake chain and may only process between 20 to 30 transactions per second. This means proof of stake is not even scalable. 6. The Ethereum migration to proof of stake. Because of its social consensus philosophy that assumes that the community will solve any controversies that may arise in the system rather than keeping it immutable and having people solve their disputes elsewhere, and due to the abstract objectives that the ETH community had of saving trees, achieving scalability, and reducing the issuance of ETH, Ethereum migrated to proof of stake in September 15, 2022. At the time, Ethereum was the second largest blockchain in the world and all other smart contract 
blockchains of re relevance in the rankings were already proof of stake as they were seeking to front run, front run Ethereum by supposedly becoming scalable and environmentally friendly first. Seven, Ethereum Classic became the largest in the world. When Ethereum migrated to proof of stake, ETC had a hash rate of around 20 terahashes per second. But after the migration, it jumped to more than 200 terahashes per second and, subse and subsequent, subsequently stabilizing at the time of this writing at around 166 terahashes per second. Nevertheless, just by remaining as a proof of work coin, ETC became the largest smart contracts blockchain in the world. All the other pro programmable chains above in the rankings are proof of stake, therefore centralized and insecure. It is just a matter of time until the market realizes this and ETC will dominate the segment. Eight, applications in ETC are the most secure apps in the world. Ethereum Classic is the environment where the most secure applications in the world will exist because, because it is a proof of work blockchain. It has a fixed monetary policy. It is programmable, fully replicated, composable, and it's the largest one in the world with this combined design. These attributes in the same integrated system provide the highest level of decentralization, thus trust minimization, thus security to any application hosted in it. Thank you for watching this Ethereum Classic video. To learn more about ETC, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.